today on the God's Glory Radio Show Television. I'm telling y'all, we got our true fireball in the building coming all the way from Orangeburg, South Carolina. I'm so excited. She is the host of God's Timeless Blessings. A lot of y'all know about that broadcast with uh, Mrs. Vaughn Davis. I'm telling you. And she is also under the powerful leadership of Perfecting Zion under Pastor Daryl Clinton. Please give it up for our keynote speaker, Sister Yvonne Davis. God bless you. Thank you, Victor. Hallelujah. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. I'm giving our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the honor, the glory, and the praise. You got to try to excuse me a little bit today. Ever since I had uh, this set up to come up to Charlotte, North Carolina, <clears throat> excuse me, the enemy has been fighting my sinuses, been fighting my sinuses now for like two weeks. But I'm here to announce to the devil in the name of Jesus Christ, he cannot stop what God wants to live. He cannot stop what God has predestined. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Yvonne Davis. I am an Orangeburg native here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I am under the ministries of Perfecting Zion Institutional Church in Orangeburg, South Carolina, where the pastor and founder is Bishop Darren Clinton. Hallelujah. I give honor to the Glory Network. I just want to thank them for having me today. It's an honor. I don't take it for granted. I thank God for my Aunt Dot, Brother Markel, a part of my ministry team who I love dearly. We get along so good, and I thank God for them. Hallelujah. But I want to talk to you today about God giving us grace. Now, grace is something that God gives us that we don't deserve. I'm going to say it again. Grace is something that God gives us that we don't deserve. But I'm here to tell you today, from his grace to greatness. There's greatness on the inside of all of us. Now, I want to show you how our gifts work together to edify the body of Christ because we don't want to get it twisted. There's no big you and little me or you, no big I and little me. There's one big God, and his name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Before I go into the message, I'm going to say a prayer to honor our Father, not only my Father, but our Father. Kind Father, in the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ, I summon you by your name. Your name alone is a strong tower, and the righteous can run to it and be safe. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for your amazing grace and mercy. We thank you, kind Father. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for your love. We thank you, God, for your compassion. We thank you, God, for your mercies are new every morning. Now, kind Father, we need you to bring your presence in. We can't do anything without you. And you, we live, move, and have our being. Hallelujah. We're going to give you the glory. Matter of fact, we're going to give you all the glory. We're going to give your name the praise because you're the only one worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Let everything that that I say, let the meditation of my heart, my God, please be acceptable in thy sight. I can't do anything without you, King Jesus. God, I need your power. We need your anointing, God. Everything that you made is good. Every gift that came from heaven is from the Father of lights, and his name is Jesus Christ. Okay, God, we thank you. We love and appreciate you, and it's all about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Okay? Like I said, y'all bear with me. My sinus has been acting up, but the devil still is a liar. I give him no credit. I thank God for another day above ground because somebody went to bed last night and they didn't wake up the day. So I thank God for our grace and mercy. I mean, for his grace and mercy, excuse me. I'm going down here to Romans chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 4. For as we have many members in one body... And all members have not the same office. Did you hear that? We have, I'm going to read it again. For, we, for as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So God is letting us know here in the word 
that we have many members, but we are of the same body. Hallelujah. There is no competition in God. We were all made from the dust of the ground. And one thing I love about King Jesus is he can see the heart. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God can see the heart. And I love God because he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Let's get back to this good word. I'm going to move down here to Romans 12 and verse 5. So we... Being many, did you hear that? We are many. We one body, but we many. So we being many are one body in Christ. And every one member is one of another. See, we are members of one another. Just like our eyes are connected, our hands are connected to our body. Hallelujah. Our heart, our liver, our feet. Hallelujah. All of our body parts are connected. And this is the way that God wants us to be connected in the spirit, in the spirit of Christ. Hallelujah. God is not going to let people think that they are above you. Because the word of God simply states, hallelujah, when you got to lift it up, um, proud that you so high and mighty and you above people the word of God say he will cast every proud look to the ground I ask God not to give me a spirit like that I want to stay humble because humble is the way up or oh, let's go back to this good word I'm going to verse 6 Romans 12 and 6 having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us whether prophecy let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. God moves by faith. And you notice in Hebrews, he said now faith. He didn't say tomorrow faith. He didn't say yesterday faith. The word of God says now faith. We have to have a now faith. The enemy comes to you with his tricks, with his decoys. But I'm here to let you know in the name of Jesus Christ that the devil is no match for God. Hallelujah. The devil is no match. That's for God because you got to remember who he is. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He made the world. Up. He spoke the world into existence. He walks on the water. He rides the wings of the air. You got to remember that we are dealing with the God and all knowing omnipotent, omniscient God that has the power to do all things but fail. I'm here to tell you right now in the name of Jesus for God is love. When you have authentic love in your heart, God answers you quicker. You can't pray and got hate in your heart for your brother or your sister. That's not the way that God operates. Let the love be pure and authentic in Jesus' precious name. Okay, we're going back to Romans 12, and we're going to move down here to 7. I just got finished with 6. Or ministry... Let us wait on our ministry. Sometimes, most of the time, we want things before God give them to us because I'm guilty. I've been there, done that. But God has a time. God has a set time. Our time is not like man. The word of God simply states, a day is like a thousand years to God. Hallelujah. And I'm here to let you know whatever God has for you, it is for you. No demon in hell can stop what God wants to live. And today's topic is from grace to greatness. There's greatness on the inside. Don't you be deceived about your past. Because all of us have a past, if the truth be told. I'm not going to look down on nobody. I ain't holding my head up on nobody. I ain't thinking I'm above nobody. Keep me humble, Lord Jesus, so I can do your will for your glory. God is going to get the glory. The Bible declares that no man should have God's glory. Hallelujah. We bind the hands of the enemy over that pride for spirit thinking you above people we were all made from the dust of the ground and there's nobody no better than nobody else I don't have time to pretend I don't have time to hate because I don't know when my last day gonna be here but while I'm here I'm gonna work in the vineyard
it. I'm going to be true to God, true to myself, and true to my brothers and sisters. I don't have time for drama. We don't serve a drama God. He stands for truth and righteousness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory be to God. I'm going to move down here to verse 8. That's Romans 8, 12 and 8, I'm sorry. Or he that exalted on exaltation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. Let me let y'all know something out there. You know I sweat sometimes, so I have my little powder puff. Y'all, I ain't putting no makeup on. I just got to wipe that sweat. <laughs> Lord. But listen, in the word of God, you ever heard somebody did something for you? Hallelujah. And they talk about it. The Bible say, if you would help the poor and needy, I will repay, thus saith the Lord. Anytime you go out there and you do something to somebody, let it be done from the heart. Let it be done in secrecy. If somebody paid your light bill or vice versa, or if you bought them grocery, because everybody is not a crook. God still got some good people in the world. That's why you have to have a discernment of the spirit. When you are filled with the spirit of God, when he gives you a discernment, remember that God cannot lie and he cannot fail. He is the author and finisher of our faith. I want to go to... The book of Job, I'm going to stop it right here because I want to match it up. I'm going to go to the book of Job 33 and 25. You got to remember, saints, we're in this together. There's no big I and little you. There's one big God, and his name is Jesus Christ. Okay, Job 33 and 25, this is the good news translation. Their bodies will grow young. Hallelujah. And strong again. When they pray, God will answer. I'm here to let you know in the name of Jesus, when you repent of your sins, after all I've been through, the enemy still couldn't stop the plan of God on my life. If God did it for me, God will do it for you. You got to remember that we're in the gospel of Jesus Christ together. God don't operate in foolishness. God don't operate in drama. God said a house divided will not stand. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. That's not my word. I'm just telling it like it is. Hallelujah. I'm not here to offend anybody. I'm here to uplift the name of Jesus Christ and what's going on now in the world. We got too many tricks. We got too many tricksters. Yeah, yeah, I love you. Yeah, really, do you? Or do you love what I'm doing for you? Hallelujah. Sometimes the enemy will send people to your life and try to attach people to your life to see where you are at in your life so they can see how they can pull you down. But I'm here to tell you that God is the orchestrator of time. My God, don't you know the Bible simply declares that he took his hands and measured the sky. The Bible simply declares that he holds the whole world in his hand. The Bible simply declares Declares that he loves you so much until his your name is graven in his hand. The Bible simply declares that all the sand in the world he can hold in a cup. I ain't never know a man to make a grain of sand, sand in my life. Okay. We going back here to Job 33, and I'm gonna go to 26. When they pray. God will answer. Hallelujah. They will worship God with joy. God will set things right for them again. There it is, folks. There it is. When you pray, when you repent of your sins, when you do it with a heart of simplicity, 
with a pureness in your heart. And I like dealing with the heart because I've had so many pretenders in my life. I thought they were my friend. Uh, I, 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 it hurt me. And the only person can really get your life and put your heart back together is Jesus Christ. Now, let me let you know something about God. The Bible simply declares, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But one thing about King Jesus, he is the preparation of our sins. I don't care what you've done. It's not my business because it's between you and God. Hallelujah. We don't have time to throw a brick and hide behind it. Because you got to remember the Bible declares that God's eyes, they move to and fro and through all the earth. We cannot hide anything from God. So we might as well come clean. We got to come clean with King Jesus. That's why he went on Calvary over 2,000 years ago to buy us back in the name of Jesus. And God brought us back with one drop of his blood. Hallelujah. This man is all powerful. He's all knowing. We can't fool God. We're going to have to do it God's way. I will not compromise with the enemy. The enemy he wants to trick he wants to kill steal and destroy but God came that we have life and we have it more abundantly I ain't going through this for nothing because I got to hear God say well done that good and faithful servant hallelujah somebody God is good he's God all by himself He's the only one worthy to be praised. I'm here to tell you that he loves you with agape love. Even when you mess up, go in your prayer closet and talk to King Jesus. Hallelujah. Ask me how I know. I've been running for 32 years on drugs and alcohol. Heard my own self took my last breath. But one thing I do know that he's a resurrecting God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't have to try to make myself look big because I'm nothing hallelujah your life is as a vapor that's what the word of God says but I'm gonna make him big I'm gonna brag on the big God that I serve because I know that he never fails I know for myself he don't lose a case I know for myself that he's an on time God hallelujah and not only for me for you too Jesus don't force himself on nobody. You got to want God. And see, in the midst of my drug addiction and alcohol addiction, people don't know how I would cry and beg God to help me because I didn't want to be in that situation. But when the king of glory came in and said, enough is enough, I had, uh, the devil had to loose that stronghold off of me. Now my job is to go and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to stand in truth. I'm going to stand with righteousness. I'm going to do it God's way. I'm not going to come back compromise with the devil because all he wants to do is kill you and move to the next person he end up with a thief and a soul stealer hallelujah let's go back to this good word I'm going back to Job 27 each one will say in public I have sinned I have not done right but God spared me. We're talking about from grace to greatness now. From grace to greatness. From grace to greatness. Hallelujah. And one thing I love about God, we don't know the day or the hour or the time. Y'all don't think that God had no about this pandemic? Anytime somebody speak the world into existence, and when you go to the word of God, Jeremiah 1 and 4 say, before I formed in the womb, I knew you. I pre ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. Anytime he made all the stars and known name by name, my God. Anytime he can ride the wings of the air. Anytime this man can ride on the water. He can, he's faster than lightning. He made lightning. Anytime this man got all power in his hand. I'm here to tell you that God already knew about the coronavirus. The coronavirus is not new to God. But one thing I do know. When God has an assignment on your life. The coronavirus cannot take you out the devil is a liar he had to go the devil had to go to Job. had to go to God because God told him he knew that Job had loved him God knew 
that Job wasn't serving him for what he was doing for him. God knew Job's heart. God knew, but the devil didn't know. He think he can peep into your future and try to stop the plans on your life. But the devil is a liar. He cannot stop the plans on your life. The Bible simply declares that God has the blueprints. He has the plans for your life. He don't fail. He's the orchestrator of everything. Don't you let the enemy make you be deceived. Because what he wants to do, he wants to throw, let's say, a monkey wrench in there. When your chain turning, he want to throw a monkey wrench in there and stop it. But one thing he got to remember, his old slew foot, moss back, the devil, Satan, Lucifer himself. He got to remember that he's not the creator. He got to remember him and a third of those angels got kicked out because they wanted to be above God. And God take him and a third of those angels and kick them right on now. Hallelujah, y'all bear with me because my sign is going on, but the devil still is alive because I'm going to do what God wants me to do. Hallelujah. Now listen, I'm getting ready to close it up in a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead on and close it on out. To God be the glory. I'm going back into Joel. 28. So this is Job 33 and 28. He kept me from going to the world of the dead. I am still alive. Even though the enemy wants to kill, steal, and destroy... The Bible just simply declared it. The devil can't do nothing to you. All you got to do, if you don't know God in the pardon your sins, ask me how I know. Get on your knees. Go in your prayer closet. Our Father, y'all, most of y'all know it's in Matthew. Hallelujah. And if you listen to that word, our, it don't say Yvonne. It don't say the glory network. It says our. And some of the people in the world that's being deceived, I'm not the only one know God. Uh-uh. When I went to Romans 12, our bodies are many members, but we serve the same God. And our gifts are to work together to edify the body of Christ. Somebody might be can fix a car. I don't know about fixing no car. Somebody might be can... Do some hair. I don't know how to really do no hair. Somebody could be a jewelry maker, this and that. Whatever the case is, our bodies are to work fitly joint together to edify the body of Christ. Again, we don't want to have a high look. We don't want to have a puff-up look. We don't want to think we're better than nobody. Stay humble. Stay honest to God. Treat people right. Treat people with respect. Treat people with dignity. Hallelujah. You can't go around here and call on the name of above that's above every name and at that name every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess in heaven on earth and under the earth that he is God now let me tell you something right now out there wherever you listen at the glory network Facebook or wherever let me tell you something before I close it out I remember Elvis Presley made a song called the great pretender this is a word for the devil. The Lord rebuke you and the Lord bind you in the name of Jesus because God already have all of his people name written in the book of Lamb's book of life. And the only person can take your name out of the book of life is God. I don't care how many times you messed up. Take it to King Jesus, and I promise you that God will be on the scene before the enemy can kick you out. King Jesus is going to stand in front of him and say, now, I know who holds all power. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned. For this is the heritage of the children of the Lord. I'm here to tell you out there right now, wherever you're listening at, don't you give up on God. Don't you give in on God. Don't you stop praising God. Don't you stop meditating on God, on his word day and night. Don't you stop loving people. Be yourself. We don't need no duplicate. We're not in competition. We got to love God. We got to do all in all to please God. The Bible declares that we have to 
It's better to please God than man. Once again, my name is Sister Yvonne Davis. I am an Orangeburg native in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I was talking about from grace to greatness. Let God turn your grace into his greatness and he get the glory. I'm one of the ministries of Perfecting Zion Institutional Church, where the pastor and founder is Bishop Darren Clinton. I want to let you know that I am the host on Facebook of God's Timeless Blessings. I want to thank the Glory Network for bringing bringing me on up in the Charlotte, North Carolina so I can do what thus saith the Lord. Even though my sinus was bothering me, the devil has still been defeated and God is going to be exalted in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you don't know God in the pardon of your sins, uh, repent of your sins, repent the sinner's prayer and I promise you in the name of Jesus he'll write your name in the book of life, the Lamb's book of life and nobody can take your name out. Nobody can do you like King Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Until the next time, my friends, be blessed and highly favored. I love you and I mean it. And you know my word. Ta ta. Thank you. Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Please come into my heart today so that I can live in relationship with you. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you were born in the flesh, was crucified on the cross, died and rose again, and is alive forevermore. Jesus, thank you for giving your life for me. Teach me how to live my life daily in relationship with you. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of salvation today. I declare and confess that I am saved.